Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today I am going to show you how to paint clear resin to make it look just like water. So, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So this is a new technique for me, and this is one of those awesome things that I learned from one of my patrons on Patreon. In the Discord group, this guy, his name is Marcelo, and he made an amazing paint job on this model. And it has these, like, I don't know, fire or some flame, something coming up out of the ground and swirling around him. And I'll go ahead and show you some of the pictures of it. I was like, wow, that's so cool, you use colored resin. And he's like, uh, nope, it's just clear resin. And he showed me what he did, and then I also adapted it a little bit and came up with the result I'm going to teach you today. So today I'm going to be painting the 60th Pokemon, Poliwag. And I got this model from Pokedex Studios. And I'll go ahead and put all of their information in the description below for you. So the first thing I need to do is prime my models. And for Poliwag himself, I am using this Vallejo white surface primer. And I'm using white because it's a lighter blue and it would just be a pain in the butt if I actually used black. But for the base, I am using black because the base is ultimately going to be black and this Vallejo Surface Primer Black is amazing. I honestly use it for just regular colors because I'm not going to go back over this base unless I absolutely have to. And I'm also using my secret weapon when it comes to quick masking. Good old fashioned silly putty. And for Poliwag Skin, I actually had to mix two colors. I'm using Blue Kazoo and Light Lavender. So it's mostly Blue Kazoo, and then I just added in a little bit of Light Lavender to just give it that purplish tone. And I'm mixing this separately in a cup and thinning it down that way. And if you missed my video on how to properly thin your paints, you can check out the video up here in the top corner. And after I got the skin toned down, I wanted to give a little bit of a gradation color on it. So I added this two blue paint just to the original paint color that I did, just to give it a little bit of a darker tone. And I only hit that from the top. It's kind of like a zenithal highlight, but I used a darker color from the top only. Once I got Poliwag all done, then it's time to move on to the actual water. And I printed this water in a clear Epax hard resin. So the first thing I'm going to be using is my Amsterdam inks, and this is Brilliant Blue. And the great thing about using inks in your airbrush is they're already really thin, so you can just put the dropper directly into the airbrush. Now, the big key here, when you're spraying inks on clear resin, you definitely want it to have a very thin coat. Because I am just spraying this very lightly all over and then just going back over it if I don't have enough of that color on the clear resin. And when it comes to this splash of water, I actually have a little more ink on the bottom and less on the top to get that clear spot. And that idea was actually from my son. I've got to give him a little shout out there. Once that's done, I grab my acrylic white ink and I'm pouring it directly into my airbrush once again after I've cleaned it properly. And this is to give like more of that sea spray kind of effect because it's splashing up and Poliwag is right there in the middle. So I kind of wanted some of that, you know, splash bubbles kind of look there. So what I'm doing is hitting it a little harder in the center and then I'm just hitting some areas from the side to be able to hit some of the ridges of the water to be able to give a little more definition to it. Then the last thing is this top coat gloss. Now this is already thinned down enough to where I can put it directly into my airbrush. And this is just going to give it that really glossy sheen like it's looking like water. And it also helps with the water to make it even look more translucent. Now I'm applying thin coats, but I'm applying multiple coats. I'm letting it dry and then going back again and hitting it again. I did three coats on this to really get that extra shine and gloss look. So 
So real quick, I just wanted to say thank you to all of these amazing people right here for supporting me on Patreon this month. Being one of my patrons gets you exclusive access to my private Discord channels where we talk about painting, 3D printing, and just showing off some awesome works of art, like you saw that Marcelo did. But not only that, it also gets you access to all of my behind-the-scenes content, as well as my Patreon-only tutorial videos, where they're not showing up here on YouTube, they're only there. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description, and I hope to see you over there. Let's go ahead and get back to this video. All right, so I've got the base, and all I'm gonna be doing is painting this with a medium gray from Folk Art. All right, so I'm gonna take this pale gray and just apply a dry brush to the rock. All right, so I have this rock all done. Now to move on to the faceplate, number 60. So I am going to be using this silver marlin and then I'm going to just paint the surface of the numbers and the pokeball. All right, so here we go. All right, so I'm gonna be using flag red for the pokeball color. Okay, so now I have the base completely done, and it is ready for a polywag, but I'm not done with that. So I'm going to set this aside and let this dry, and moving on to this guy. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is paint his stomach white, and also the edges of his eyes. I'm using this vintage tea rose for the inside of the mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna take the white and mix it in with this silver marlin because it's like a bluish gray and I want to lighten this up a good bit so I can paint the tail. So the spine of the tail is going to remain the same since that's what I airbrushed, but all of this outside edge is going to be this with more white in it. And this is a little bit blue, but I want to add just a little bit more. So I'm going to add just like a very small amount of this blue kazoo, which was the foundation for his skin. So I'm just going to dip this in here. There we go. Now it's just a little bit more blue. So now I'm just going to paint all around here. Okay, so now all I have is the eyes and a little spiral. I'm going to be using this gloss black for both. I think it'd be nice to have that front a little bit glossy. Then also for the lips, I'm going to be using this ballet pink. All right, so time for the big reveal. This was such a fun project and man, 
I think this project turned out so awesome. It's a really simple model to paint, but when it comes to using clear resin and then also painting it in just that way, I just think it really just put it over the top and made it an exceptional piece of artwork. So I just want to thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, I wish you a great day, and I will see you in the next video.